Okay, so Bethesda's came out, and uh, what do we got? Let me see. So Blades came out on the came out, and it's going to the Switch. Um, yeah, three star. Don't really give a fuck. Um, uh, you could even argue for a two star. I wouldn't give it a one because it's it does look pretty innovative, despite the fact it's gonna be microtransactions. And, you know, it's a mobile game, but you know it's coming to the Switch, so that kind of boosts it up in my opinion from like a two to a three. Uh, with cross state. Cross save and cross platform with I guess uh, some about ability to like visit each other and shit. So you know, I'm pretty hopeful of, about this. Uh, let me see, Fallout 76 uh, with its uh, Wastelanders expansion, it's finally finished, and that's a it's beat it's managed to meet meet its minimum standard of three stars now. Okay, um, the fucking Wastelanders expansion finished the game. <laughs> It's been like a year. I still love the game, don't get me wrong, but it's now finished and now worth buying for the price that it was originally at. Um, and then it also released its uh, Nuclear Winter, which is like a Battle Royale thing. I don't really care. It's still kind of a... Um, you know, more ways to play are good. Not a huge fan of Battle Royale with the whole shrinking maps and everything and just like, bleh. But more ways to play are good, so I'm okay with that. <sighs> Next one that came out was kind of weird. It was like Tokyo uh, Ghostwire Tokyo. Fucking hell, those graphics! It was like they hit the Uncanny Valley like perfectly. I swear to God, I couldn't tell if I was watching a movie or a game trailer. It was really bad. I mean, it probably won't be as good when you see the actual game, considering it was probably like just an overhyped trailer, probably. So it's either never going to come out like uh, Final Fantasy 7 or it's going to be um or it it's going to be really fucking weird to play. I'll be honest. It it freaks me. It's like what the fuck a little bit. The storyline sounds pretty cool. It's like disappearing people and like spirits and kind of like a weird spiritual post-apocalypse kind of thing. I like the idea. I'm just like, the graphics freak me the fuck out so badly. Um, anyway, I, 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 I reserve judgment. Four stars for now, just for like how good that trailer was. But, eh. Okay. Elder Scrolls Online, and this, I love Elder Scrolls Online. I really do. I, I was a huge fan of it for a very long time, and I played the living shit out of that game. Um, they had a Necromancer. Yeah, I'm gonna have to buy this expansion and play it, but, like, at, at the same time, I haven't played it in such a long time, and I still have so many other games to play, so I might not, and I'm just like, it's put me on the fence of buying the expansion and jumping right into it again, but you know what, I have a lot of other things to do right now, so I'm gonna hold off on it for a little while, and kind of make myself wait for this particular game, for this particular, like, to get back into it, but, uh, if I have any friends that really want to jump into it on PC, though, I'll probably jump into it with them. I'm just, like, for me, I, I would need a friend. If I had, like, a friend that wanted to play online with me, I'd probably jump in. But right now, no. For now, no. Uh, okay, now we have uh, Commander Keen. Yeah, it's one star. It's a mobile game, and it doesn't even look that good. It's not, It doesn't have, like, weird uh, new mechanics or... It's not based off of a, a beloved franchise, and it just it just it just looks really bad and boring. Um, yeah, nothing, not even not even like something that could be addictive or anything. To, from my from my perspective, it just kind of looks. Bleh. Elder Scrolls Le Legends, yeah, that one's definitely like a three stars for me. Right up there, great fucking. Um, it's a card game, and, you know, I grew up playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, so for me, like, just buying card games, are, uh, which are pretty much loot boxes, card packs are pretty much loot boxes, it's like, whatever, that's fine, and it's coming to mobile, and Switch, and uh, Xbox, and PlayStation, and whatever the fuck else. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, not ecstatic, but I'm happy. I'm fine. Uh, Rage 2, five stars, oh my god, that game looks so fucking amazing, especially with, like, the DLC and all the freaking drivey things, and then they had the, the, the freaking, like, apparently there are cheat codes in it, and the, yeah, it looks good, 
it looks good. The enemies look pretty neat, and then they're just insane, and I'm gonna have to buy this game, my fucking god. Not immediately, it might be a little while, because, you know, god, my, I have so many games I gotta play still. Like, I, I've been really into Dark Hunt, I still gotta finish the freaking game, I wanna finish <laughs> the game, I wanna do a couple, like, tutorials and random parts of it, and at the same time, these games are out, and it looks so neat! <laughs> oh, fuck. Anyway. Enough about that. Oh, oh god! And then like something else I gotta play. I gotta play the the, the new the new thing on Switch for Warframe. The, the Warframe with the butt's supposed to come out pretty soon, and I really want to see it. Anyway, I'm getting distracted again. Come on, Wolfenstein VR. Yeah, four point five stars. Really looks good. Um. Just the idea of kind of being able to be jump into a, a game like Wolfenstein that's just slaughter, murder, everything. I imagine you're not going to be able to move as fast because, and especially because you are like technically you're hacking into robots, to take them over, and then attack Nazi Germany and shit. And it's awesome. It sounds pretty cool. Uh, Wolfenstein Youngbloods, 4.5 stars as well. Yeah, killing Nazis with friends, no problem. It's on Switch too, which is really impressive. And that said. I'm not actually like a, a big uh, Wolfenstein fan, so I'm not sure if I'll buy it, but it looks really cool. And for the people that are Wolfenstein fans, I imagine it's an instant buy, or if you're any kind of... Uh, I would suggest trying it, no matter what, actually. Like, if, if you can get it on physical cartridge or something, and then return it to GameStop or something, it looks like a game I would definitely want to try for like a week or so, and then switch it out for something else, if it turns out to be bad. Um, next one, I'm going to have a death loop. That's going to be a three star. It looks like a kind of a mind bender shooter thing. And I actually really like the idea of it. But for some reason, the the characters were, while well, they both look pretty interesting, I, I was like, you know what? I, I want to read about this game or watch videos on this game. I'm not sure if I actually want to play this game, you know? Kind of how I felt about it. It looked like a good game to watch more than a good game to play. Um, Doom and Orion. Meh, I don't really care for cloud gaming. My internet's shit anyway. So I guess maybe I'll try it, but... Meh, I don't care. Uh, Doom Eternal, though. That one. Heh. <laughs> Woo! Again, an instant buy, as far as I'm concerned. Um, lots of planets and dimensions and... Yeah... Shit. My god, those graphics were freaking insane. Like, they're not like the uncanny valley of the Tokyo of the ghost line Tokyo or whatever, but they are um just beautiful. W even without that. They're they're beautiful, fast paced, lots of light and camera, and if that works as well as it shows there on the Switch that is an instantly in my category. I mean, if it's on PlayStation or something, I actually probably wouldn't grab it. Because if it's on Switch, I'd rather have it on Switch. And if it doesn't run as well on Switch, I'll just not buy it. Because I'm not a huge shooter. But if it runs even, like, nearly that well. I mean, it doesn't have to be as, like, high, f as fast-paced or whatever, isn't it? But ha if it looks as good as that, to the point that I can't quite see through it. Yeah, no. I'll, I'll totally go for it on Switch. Uh, do multiplayer? Yeah, I don't really care. It's an interesting looking game mode, but I'm not really a huge fan of the whole... It doesn't change what I, th what I want about D Doom Eternal itself, so it's like, it's an extra bonus as far as I'm concerned. Not something particularly to be interested in, but, you know, hey. Uh, anyway, that was Bethesda's. A lot shorter than Xbox's, but a lot more big ratings. Like, really cool things as far as I'm concerned. Though they were all things that we really knew about already. Except for the Wolfenstein VR. I had no idea about that before, so. Um, yeah. Uh, let me know what you think.